I have decided to get a boob job. Good morning. Ew. I literally haven't been on a camera for ages. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I guess. I just want to basically say that I do not promote any surgery. That's not at all what I'm doing. I just want to share my experience with everyone. I found it a lot of help by like looking at other people's YouTube videos and like vlogs and stuff. So I found it very helpful to be able to gain more understanding on like the procedure, whereabouts I could go and get it done, like recommendations, etc. Because like knowing someone that's gone to get it done at a certain place rather than going to somewhere completely new that you've never heard of before, you're obviously going to lean towards more or the person that's had the experience with them and if they've had a good experience so that's why i'd like to share my experience with you all this is something that i've actually wanted for a very long time i always said when i was younger i just want a bigger boobs it's never been like a confidence issue for me it's just certain clothes i really would like to be able to wear and i'm kind of limited on what i can wear like for example this top <laughs> It doesn't fill out how I want it to, do you know what I mean? Again, I'm not promoting surgery whatsoever. Everyone's bodies are beautiful the way they are. I just personally feel like it's something that I've wanted to get done for ages now and I'm now in a lucky enough position that I've been able to pay for it. It is very expensive. <laughs> But yeah, I'm hoping that obviously all goes well. I have actually had a consultation already at a different place. I just wanted to go and try out another place. I'm getting a few different opinions. I do think it is good to like look around, like try before you buy sort of situation because obviously it is a huge thing. It's very life changing. So it's definitely good to have a look around before. The person I'm going to visit today, he is actually from a recommendation from someone that I recently have asked about because they've got their boobs done recently. So that is who I'm going to go and have a consultation with today. But yeah, I'm very excited. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> it's Friday the 7th of October. Um, so it's quite a few months after since I last checked him. Today, I'm going for my second consultation with Dr. Ralphie. Today is the day where we just go over everything that we went through before just to like be clear that we both know what I want and stuff like that and then I think we look at dates so yeah exciting times. Um, I'm not nervous for today but <laughs> I'm nervous for the operation. I'm with Dr. Ralphie right now and my mum's here too and <laughs> um, yeah here's Dr. Ralphie. We're currently just trying on the sizes. It's a really tiny end blunt, which is around 150. Okay. And it goes up to a 200. Yeah. And then a 250. Mm -hmm. And then that's a 450 and that's a 550. Okay, and so no way will I be going to no that. Way. <laughs> no way. No way. will like that. No. I think that will take up two boobs. <laughs> I don't think that will do much. I think maybe this no, one. Try this one on. To be honest, that is the best one that will fit your body frame. Yeah. Body shape. It's not really about the size you want. Yeah. It's the size that will fit with your body frame better. And we usually yeah. get catalogues with these implants. That's why we measure. Yeah. And that's why when we measured to you, we thought that may be the best one that will fit your body frame. Okay. So... You went for that? Yeah. Not that. No, <laughs> not that one. I've got this little thing on. My mum's in the background. Um, but this is the size that we've decided to go for, um, which is, if I'm correct, 300cc high profile. And I think we're going to go for the round textured implants as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait. I think it looks really good for my body shape and it's perfectly so yeah exciting times hey it is the night before my surgery i'm like so beyond excited it's currently 9 41 on thursday the 3rd of november my surgery is tomorrow at 8 a.m so me and my mom are getting up at 6 a.m and we're traveling down to edgeware where i will be having my surgery by dr ralphie at the London Cosmetic Surgery. Um, obviously, it's not com completely there, but it's like down the road from there, um, the hospital. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous now, but I'm so beyond excited. I can't believe that in literally, literally like 12 hours, I'm going to have new boobies. Not 12 hours. 
Is it 12 hours? I don't know. I'm not very good with time. So yeah, anyways, I'm doing my prep for the night before. So I've got some fresh bed sheets going on. I'm gonna have a nice fresh bed when I come home to be in for a week. Which is gonna be fun. This is my post-op pillow because if anyone doesn't know, you have to sleep upright. I'm pretty sure for a good like three weeks. Um, which I'm gonna really struggle with because I always sleep on my front, believe it or not. So I'm not going to be able to do that for a very long time, which is going to be a struggle for me. So that's one bit I'm a little bit worried about. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is my bag. I've just took a little bag. Um, I've just got some painkillers in there. I believe they'll give that all to me anyways. I've got my notepad. I've got all my like documents that I need. Um, I've got some new silk PJs, which my mum just washed for me as well. So they're nice and clean. I've got my slippers. Um, I'm going to pack the rest tomorrow. Like, I'm going to pack another toothbrush. I need to put, like, deodorant. I'm going to do that now, actually. So we're going to put some deodorant in there. We're going to put... What are we going to do? We've got baby wipes. Baby wipes. I'm going to put them in there because I'm going to need to freshen up. Because um, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm allowed to shower for, like, a week. It might even be a bit longer than that which is disgusting, but you can't get the stitches and incis incisions wet. And I've been having to apply bio oil for a week before, up until yesterday. So I haven't put that on today. So I'm hoping I don't get any stretch marks because it should have done its job, but who knows. And then now I've got a soak in a hot bath, or well not hot bath, but I've got a soak in a bath for 30 minutes in this Dettol soap bar it's like an antibacterial bar soap so basically it's to stop like prevent you getting infections and stuff like that really excited but i'm really nervous but it'll be good i can't believe literally tomorrow i'm gonna have boobies crazy stuff i can't believe how quick it come around as well it's crazy but yeah wish me luck and i'll probably see you in the morning so yeah Scared.com. I'm actually not that bad. I'm not that scared. I think once I'm there, it's going to be a different story. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep chilled. I'm going to be fine. I'm freezing. It's so cold. I've just finished packing my bag, I think. Um, oh, that's not good. If you can see, I'm in my tracksuit. Say bye bye. Small babies. <laughs> It is just gone half six technically. It's literally like still dark out basically. I've never ever been on this early ever. <laughs> it says we should be there at 7.26. Exciting. I may not look excited but I am. <laughs> just tired. I'll try and vlog when I'm at the hospital. We're here. Scary times. My admission is in 20 minutes. I am freezing, it's so cold. But yeah, I'm going in now. See ya. I'm back. <laughs> I look honestly diabolical. I don't know how I've come on here like this. But I've been giving my stockings to wear. I've got like a little nappy on. <coughs> Not a nappy, but it looks like a diaper, I said. This is my room. This is in my bed. And then my mom's there <laughs> this is the bathroom really nice bathroom um and yeah that's it it's my room tour wish me luck hey i'm out and i have boobies my mom's in the background it's really difficult to see them at the moment to be honest yeah, they're really compressed and stuff at the moment, but I love them so far. So good. Um, how long ago would you say I woke up now? About two hours ago, nearly. Probably before that. No, yeah, about two hours. Ago. About two hours ago, I woke up. They all had Domino's pizza. Like, what the hell? Talk about unbelievable treatment. Really, Domino's. Most people in a hospital will get given tea and biscuits or a sandwich. Or toast or something. I put it in the chat, Mum. Someone put bloody cheek. I only got a biscuit. 
<laughs> so I've had special treatment, which is beautiful. I've been to the toilet twice. Literally, as soon as I come out of surgery, I need to go to the toilet straight away. Um, I do actually nearly need to go again, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling a little bit disorientated like when I like look around and things, but it's starting to feel a little bit better now. I'm in pain, but it feels like more pressure on my back, I'm not going to lie, than anything. Um, and I just can't take deep breaths. Like, deep breaths are the thing that hurts. Because obviously it's tight. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm very happy. Very happy. Now just for recovery. Just got to take it easy. Hopefully, this time next week, I won't feel a lot of pain. Like, I probably still feel pain. Like, I've heard from people before that they still get, like, odd shooting pains and, like, stabbing pains and stuff. But hopefully I'll feel a lot better. But, yeah, it was crazy. I... It felt like it happened so quickly. It's just crazy you actually go into surgery and they literally operate on you and then, like, you just wake up and you're like, hey, <laughs> and I've got new boobies. Crazy. Hey, it's one week post-op. I got my surgery done last Friday. Uh, I just want to quickly run through how I'm feeling. I'm going to do another video of a Q&A because... I've had a lot of people ask me questions on Instagram because it's already been uploaded to my Instagram. Everyone already knows that I've had it done. But, sorry, I sound really out of breath, but it's because I've like been like up and down the stairs. And also the support bra is really tight and I've got like this band on and it's really tight and it's like pushing them against my chest. But I need that on to be able to like recover. Like they need to be able to drop um, and that's why you have the support band. Anyways, sidetrack. Let me quickly see whether I can show you. This is the post-op bra and the band. Um, so this is what the girlies are looking like at the moment. I did get warned that they're going to look quite triangle-like at first. Honestly, I can't tell you how much they change over the weeks. Because um, I've seen other people's pictures of their progress. And it's honestly crazy. Basically, what I kind of wanted to say, I'm one week post-op. Not gonna lie, the very first day it was really painful, which is weird because a lot of people say they're not in as much pain then because they're like really dosed up on like painkillers and antibiotics. No, what's the one? Put under anaesthetic, so. But for me, the first day was the worst. I'd like to say the second was not bad. The third, fourth was so good. Like I had such a good day. And even the fifth, I started off quite in like pain on the fifth. Um, because I had a bad sleep the night before, I didn't sleep at all. And I haven't slept at all again last night. Um, which is the thing that's bothering me most, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. One thing I'm quite surprised about is the boobs, honestly, itself, at the moment. Obviously, over time, they probably will. But they don't actually hurt that much. Like, I have got the odd, like, stabbing and shooting pains. They do feel a little bit bruised if you touch them. But, like, my actual boobs don't actually feel, like, that bad. Whereas the thing that was really honestly quite painful, the first day this band, it hurts your back. So like, I look like I've got a hunchback at the moment. I can't like really push out at the moment because this is like secluding me in. So once I've like obviously taken the band off after six weeks, hopefully I don't have a hunchback, fingers crossed. Now TMI, I was really constipated. I think I've heard that once, uh, when you've been under anaesthetic or general anaesthetic, yeah, you do get quite constipated, which, Honestly, was probably the hardest part for me. And the bloatation was disgusting. So, like, I'm quite lucky. At the moment, I'm not actually that bloated anymore. And I've heard a lot of people say that it lasts, like, three weeks. Again, TMI and disgusting. But I had really bad trapped wind at first. Like, it was really annoying me. Like, I just literally... That, that was causing the most pain because I was uncomfortable. The boobs themselves actually don't feel that bad. I haven't actually seen them properly yet. I've peeked at them through the bra and like undone the bra a little bit but not fully so i haven't actually seen them i don't know what my incisions look like i don't know any of that yet so usually you have a one week post-op appointment with your doctor or your surgeon i haven't had that yet so i'm going back on monday so it's going to be like a 10 day post-op i think it will be and that's when he makes sure they're healing okay I get to obviously see them myself which will be nice i've got like just these two little dressings on the bottom of them um Obviously, that's to cover the incisions and help them heal. So, he's just going to check that they're all healing okay and fine. And then, yeah, it's just it's just a bit of a long journey, to be honest. Like, I won't lie, this week has been so slow, but also so fast. But then, at the same time, like, when you are sitting in bed and you can't really do much, it is going to 
go slow. But yeah, I've literally had enough of sitting in bed. I've had two really bad nights of sleeps where I couldn't get to sleep and I honestly feel like it's where I've not been able to do anything. Like I've just been in bed basically the whole time. And it's not even like I've been napping because I haven't even been napping. More to the start I was, but I haven't even been napping the past few days. But I just, I don't know what it is. I just couldn't sleep and it's horrid. Like I don't obviously know whether that's to do with like the fact that I've just had an operation or whether it's just something I'm developing, which I hope not. I'm so happy, honestly. I could not recommend Dr. Alfie enough. He has been, honestly, an absolute dream. I went to a few different consultations. I trusted him with my body, basically. That's obviously really important. And I trusted that he would do a good job and take care of me because a lot of surgeons, you do have to be careful because they do kind of just want your money and you're gone sort of thing. And your aftercare is really important. Obviously, I'm going for an actual one-to-one check up with dr alfie for the week post-op usually i've heard that people have to do it over the phone like on zoom or they do it with a nurse and so not even the the actual surgeon itself so i feel like that's when you kind of know like okay i was very lucky that i've been able to actually see him myself because he's the one that knows everything and if something was wrong he'd know and all of that okay, i'm gonna stop rambling on now um i think i'll touch base next with you when i'm going to my one week post-op appointment and yeah okay we're on our way to the one week post-op appointment look how foggy this is it's literally like driving in a horror movie we're gonna get some mcdonald's breakfast before we go because we're starving and we haven't eaten anything we've got dr alfie a little present my brother's girlfriend basically got me these little cakes um to say <laughs> happy new boobies and then i've got him some chocolates and a card so yeah gonna give him that we stopped off and got some flowers as well um so we're just about to go in now so this is the little waiting area in the clinic so cute these are for you Watch, honestly. that's Thank okay you. oh my god ah, isn't <laughs> that that? And the best thing you did was even when we said we're gonna go a bit bigger you said that's too big you said fine i will stick with 300 yeah. but i remember we tried three, three to five and three fifty and yeah. when we checked the your catalog, measurements yeah. with the catalog and yeah. the catalog says you need to go with a 300 because yeah. that was the best fit yeah. for you yeah but it achieved what you wanted. So, we've just had a look. I'm literally so surprised at how tiny the incision is. I've seen pictures of people's incisions and they're like plus three centimetres or more than that. But mine's actually, we measured it, didn't we? It's two yes, and a half centimetres. It's literally tiny. Me and mum are literally in shock, aren't we? Yeah, no. <laughs> so no happy. Scabs. No scabs or anything. We Please thought it was going to be like, all like gruesome and like bleeding and everything but literally like no scabs or anything and um dr alfie done me like internal stitching so there's no like um stitches that needed to get removed they just needed cutting on the ends very happy, You're happy. yes You're very, happy very happy with the size yes with perfect the size everything i love them already and they're not even like fully dropped or anything yet so no, i'm very very yes. happy did very well with the size they have picked up with yes the shape, with yeah. the consistency as well yes yeah. We still have got some tiny bit of swelling that's mm -hmm. going to settle down. The mm -hmm. implants will settle a tiny bit more. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with how they look like. I'm happy that you are happy with them. Yeah. Um, the, scar, the, the wounds are healing well. There is no infection, nothing to worry about. We removed right. already the dressing today. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can shower, you can do whatever you want. Just remember not to use your muscles a lot. Okay. Driving like what we said, we're going to leave the driving for another three weeks three. from today, three yeah. to four weeks from today. Yeah. So I would say the bra for another four or five weeks from today. Yeah and the elastic band at the top just to keep the implants in place you yeah. put the implants in dual plane which is partly under the, the gland and mm -hmm. partly under the muscle so we will keep that on for another for two to three weeks from okay. now but otherwise you did very well you did well with the management after yeah it was very smooth yes. very glad very, very happy good. yeah mm -hmm.